No, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system and probably be more difficult than what we anticipated. But that's all part of it. It's up to us if we embrace it or if we let it beat us down. Um, most people would break on a challenge like this. But in saying that, most people don't choose to roll a boat across the Atlantic Ocean. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. We've still got a fair amount of work to do. Uh, just waiting on the boat to arrive. And then from there, still fixing parts of the boat. Um, and getting it ready. The last 12 months has been crazy from getting the boat, rebuilding it, looking at training, trying to get sponsorship, uh, the whole campaign just to try and get the boat across to the Canary Islands. This is it. Don't turn him back now. through the night, see what tomorrow brings. Good morning, it's a bit of a struggle. I think we both realised uh, what we've got ourselves into. And I'm just so tired, so, so tired. My body's not quite used to, used to the hours growing yet. So far. Sam pretty pretty flat out just trying to jump on the oars for an hour and well not even on the oars, just jump on the steering for an hour and help us drift in the right direction. Night time you can't see the waves coming. This is a lot harder than what we thought. And of course no one comes into Atlantic thinking it's gonna be easy either, but this is horrible. Breakfast. Custom mixed berries. It's pretty good, so right now life's okay, but we gotta figure something out to get us moving quicker. Pretty soon. Yeah, it's day five. Uh, today's the first uh, day I've actually been able to eat food and uh, keep it down, so I was pretty seasick from day one. Surfed a wave today and got it to 8.1 knots, so pretty pumped on that. But uh, plenty more of those to come, I reckon. Took a tumble, got smoked by a wave, and landed on my elbow, so. I don't know if you can see that, but. She's a bit swollen. Bit hurt. Some on the uh, ibuprofen painkiller diet. That's been good. Um, yeah, not sure why it hurt so much, but shit happens, I guess. And the seas are still confused. <sighs> Another day. All's going well. Uh, the night shifts are torture. Uh, last night we were both battling the uh, sleep monkeys. I kept on seeing palm trees out in the water and sleep talking. Step outside, see how Sam's doing. Reckons a wave hit him. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Come on, Sammy. Uh, day 11, which is Christmas Day for us back home. Um, which makes you wonder what on earth we are doing here. Getting messages from home. Um, we're doing okay. As okay as you can possibly be when rolling across the Atlantic. Sam's got the music cranking, haven't you, Sammy? Always, mate. Yeah, we're going to enjoy ourselves. Uh, we're doing okay. One day at a time. That's all you can do. One day at a time. That's how you cross an ocean. What day are we at? 10? 11. Feels like, feels like day 20. Day 11, and we've got our first bit of company. How good is she? Give us a hoot! <laughs> yeah. Alright, Sammy, rowing with the dolphins. Good, mate. What a place to do it, eh? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean. People paid big dollars for this. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Alright, we have, I think, oh, it's a big marlin, big black marlin following us. It's a big shadow right there. Oh, he's massive! And there we are. So far to go. Alright, today is day 14. No, 16. 16. We're doing pretty good. We're no longer uh, behind a few teams, which is always nice. We're making good progress. Um, we're feeling pretty good. Today we jumped in the water and gave the hull a bit of a clean, which was actually pretty, pretty okay. Um, we've lost our uh, hand pump, which is a pain. We turned the boat upside down trying to find that. Um, anything else? Bailing buckets. Yeah, we've lost a few bailing buckets. Um, I lost my spoon. That was upsetting. What was even more upsetting is I'm now down to my fork and I dropped that into our bathroom bucket. That was a bad moment. This is the kind of thing you gotta be staring at. Get yourself motivated. Head west! Those are the little missiles that we hear buzzing past our heads at night. The most terrifying thing out here. All right, it is day 31. Day 31 is so hot as well. It is so, so hot in this cabin. So uncomfortable and so hot. Lovely outside, got the breeze. Hello. Not inside. In here is like a sauna, and out there is like a solarium. Uh, doesn't matter where you go, you cannot escape this heat. It's so hot. We've got a little bit of food left over, but a lot of it we're not really big fans of. So. We have 
whatever that is. Uh, looks like pear soup. Oh, cotton curry. Um, all we've got. Ration biscuits. Got rice pudding. I was so excited to get said fruit, but it's not. It's sultanas. Everything just has sultanas. One hundred chicken tikka masalas later. So to celebrate with a wet meal, sausage casserole, and then I'm going to back it up with. This mystery one, we don't know what this is, but I'm gonna give it a try. Another off meal today, which is about the 15th off meal in a row. Oh, something different. Chicken fried rice. No, it's a bit off too, so it's nice and I plumpy. hate chicken and rice in all forms after this trip. Agreed. Agreed. On a good note though, porridge and blueberries is the duck's nuts. Get it in ya. Morning. Oh, good morning, Judy's. Um, the water maker here. Get the bung out. That is the trick to a good water maker. Is that hose? So now it's collecting water from um, uh, well underneath the boat, so you don't get that aeration through it. There she is. Going through a few filters, my check here. There you go. Day 33. The reason why we've gone with foot steering is for the conditions so we're a bit more agile, we can line it up right with the swell. Um, we do have autopilot, but we've chosen not to use it. Uh, we also use the chart. We've also got the compass. And that. How you steer a rowing vessel backwards. So if you want to move this foot to the port side, side this. then we can just go. <laughs> Knock us down under 900 nautical miles to go till the finish. Yo. breaking on top of that. I don't think we can make up our mind whether we're enjoying going this fast or if it's just way too scary. The amount of times we almost capsized is ridiculous but yeah it's getting us there quicker. Good fun he says. It's not fun. We've just been smoked by a bomb. Uh, fully capsized, rolled over in here, just went black. Shit, just went a few everywhere. Things broken, a few things lost. We lost our main rowing seat, which is um, probably the biggest issue. Probably the worst part of it was I got my leg caught in between the oars and the side of the boat, so I was left hanging by my leg. Sam, who was inside the cabin here, I had to yell out to him to come outside and release my harness for me so I could fall into the water. Dylan is in one piece still. Um, <laughs> I don't wish out upon anybody. That hurt. That night we just sat on power anchor because it was um, it was pretty big. Some pretty big waves that were breaking that got us. After that many days at sea, 
Autumn strikes, even though it's strict on my day one. But. This is our cave drawing. So I'm guessing that is a whale of some description. That's us, the rowboat. That's my caveman family. So there's Casey, which is mum, me, Harper, and the bear that looks like it's crawling is Knox. End of day 37. And our time's coming down a lot. Tolls were 11 days from finishing, but we are absolutely going as hard as we can. We don't want to be out here anymore. We lost our seat when we capsized, which means if we're close to any teams in that final uh, sprint to the finish line, we can't row two people up. So we want to get as far ahead of them, and they're not even going to try to catch us. get a hoot out of him. Thank you very much and uh, safe travels. Having a chat with the uh, captain, thinks we're nuts. <laughs> Where's the engine? <laughs> See that 61? That means we have officially crossed the Atlantic Ocean. It's been a pretty long journey. It's the longest 50 days I've ever had in my life. Um, it's dragged out forever. So it's going to be a um, pretty emotional experience when we get to Antigua. So it's been fun sometimes, mostly boring. Good to be finished. Glad to have done it. All right, we got landfall. Antigua in the background. What do you reckon, Sammy? Oh, it's the best thing I've seen in 52 days. It's insane. What about me? Um, that was after day one. Second best thing. Second, Second best, best thing you've seen. On the home straight. One more corner. Being escorted in. This is it. This is the end. 52 days. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Finally. This is, uh, finally. Shut up. We're going as quick as we can. <laughs> Green and red, yeah. Green and red up further up. Okay, keep going up here. Oh, these two. These two little green and reds. Oh,